surfers. Some nice waves. We're gonna do a little surfing turf this weekend, huh? 26. A little chilly. Anything? Aha! Saw a corner of a coin. Alright. We're on the board. What do we got? Looks like a weedy. Bank left here. Holy Christ! This thing's been straight. It looks like it's halfway up over here. They're gonna have to come in and fix this. I got another signal here. I should have brought a pinpointer. Looks like that. I walked it back down. 23. We got a 23, a hot 23. Looks like it's gonna be a silver. Boy, there's not much left of that bank, I'll tell you, in spots. It's a mercury dime. All right, we're on the board. Oh, hands are cold. Yeah. Another penny. I need to fix it. Go in and see if we can't find it. I brought my trusty pinpointer. All this land hunting I'm doing. I feel like a swashbuckler from the 18th century. All right. See if we can't find this sucker. Penny, rants, keep going. The surface. Maybe we can hit that with a pinpointer right on top. Take my stuff off. I'm kind of eyeballing it right now, pinpointing it with my eyes. See what we can do. Pinpointer comes in handy here or in between rocks. I'd usually just kick and dig. Can't. No, didn't sound too deep. my Damn good. Fix this mess. They'll probably plow the beach back up. Getting a straight up 30. Nice sounding one here. This will pinpoint this. Straight out. I think we'll do some surf and turf this weekend. What do you think? Surf and turf. There it is, right there. Got a quarter. 
hoping to be silver, but it's clad. Like the side of a foundation. Got a nice 25 right under that stone. It doesn't sound too deep. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we're here on the bank. A lot of these aren't too deep anyway. not we'll have to uh, run the coil over that plug the headphones <laughs> sounds good <laughs> right in there said it's gonna be surf and turf this weekend the beach looks pretty weak right now a lot of sand uh, a couple of spots down there it was an offshore cut in one area but I couldn't get it get to it need a minus tide but um I figured hey let's do a little bit of a land hunt too but we got a silver silver coin some wheat pennies down there so few other pennies and a quarter but um, that bank they're gonna have to bulldoze that I'll probably go down when they do that I'll keep an eye on it if I, anything comes of it but it's just weak you know we had the storms but we didn't have the high tides and didn't have that big storm we had a lot of wind storms but a lot of branches and trees at my house came down but uh, we're going to try a few new spots over here today. I got my pinpointer. I got my handy dandy CTX. Use the Equinox at the beach. I'll bring the, the Equinox out here sometime. Try that 4G, whatever the hell it is, program. Or everybody's screaming that they're getting silvers at 100 feet down. So, try that maybe. But And uh, the Vanquish, we're going to be using that at Hampton. We'll try that dry sanding. We'll be getting into that soon. Uh, beach is in between a few worlds right now. Um, you're going to have your fresh target showing up in a few more weeks. Once May comes in, weather's starting to warm up now. It's getting green out here. A lot of ticks. A lot of ticks. So we'll see what happens. I'm not going to stay too long if it gets real bad. So, But I did want to get out one more time. So we'll see what happens. Target. It's like a piece of old sheet metal or copper or something. Carry on. Hmm. Appears to be some sort of rivet. With some leather, maybe some leather or fabric built in. A target trace. See that line down low? It's a piece of iron. But it's coming up. Yep, it's a piece of iron down low. So that's why I won't dig that and I'll move around it. But the great thing about this is, let's say there was a coin on that piece of iron or mixed in. The CTX has the distinct ability to pick up multiple targets. So you'd see a target up here 
not necessarily a broken line but a straight round red signal like that iron down there so I can tell on my CTX if there's a piece of iron and there's a coin in there by using this target trace here. Let's get some fancy schmancy on it. What in the dickens is this? Huh. I don't know, looks like a lock mechanism. Not a paddle lock. up in that silver ring. Look at that, that nice red signal. It's up in that silver. It don't look like a coin. I'll take it down. We'll take a look. That sounded good. A pinpointer out. I think we see it though. Ooh. Oh, it's a watch! Oh! Neat! Wow, that's a cool looking watch! Look at that sucker! Wow! Boy, that sounded like silver, but I don't know. It don't look it. Might be brass. Cool. Cool looking watch. Oh. Wow, that, that's coro that was deep. Look how deep that was. Put the pinpointer down there. Ooh, that's almost a pinpointer and a shake some. Boy, that looks old. Maybe we'll clean that up. Maybe an old buckle. Sound good. I think I got another one. And the horse rosettes, I think. Tell me. Yeah. You get one with a pretty design. That's what these are, I believe. An old one. Yeah. Sounded like a big copper. Oh well. Check See, it's a nice solid signal. I'll show you my target trace here. Kick the shovel down. See that? See how that's red? See right where it needs to be, 1229. That's what you want on that. Nice see her. Let me go down and grab it. Oh. Not a fancy schmancy one. Alright. Alright, I'll keep going. Alright, so here's the wrap-up video. Um Hit the beach, went down, did uh, did the pile. The pile's really beat up. I um, think they're going to have to get the bulldozer down there and fix that. But uh, I did get two, four, six, seven pennies. Did get a quarter. Uh, did get a silver dime, silver mercury dime. So I did get one silver. Um, I rushed back and had gotten my pinpointer. I had forgot it beautiful thing about my location is um, I live only a couple of miles miles from the best beaches in the world and uh, out my back door is <laughs> a colonial field so I guess I take sometimes I take it for granted I did get two uh, wheat pennies so uh, I did get a little stuff at the beach but beach is pretty it's pretty slick right now down there it's a lot of sand and uh, Storms didn't really do that much damage this year kind of a downer, but we'll keep an eye on that and see what happens So I uh, came back changed up my detectors went with the CTX went back over to the field got some lead uh, a couple more musket balls in good shape did get two that were crushed and a couple of bullet casings uh, maybe an old ribbit um, got this cool little thing that looks like a rosette I think to a horse so um, 
that was cool. Got this buckle. This looks pretty old. Um, really corroded. So that's definitely old. That might be a colonial one. I don't know. That looks old. Um, got a piece of tin. A couple of old spoons. Um, tried to clean them up. I think they just plated. A few, uh, few buckshot shotgun shells. Got this weird object. I think it's a car horn, but I don't know. Opened up on the bottom. I was hoping there was going to be some silver coins in there, but it's not. So, but anybody anyway, knows what that is. Shout out. Looks like a got something sticking out of there. So, uh, best find of the day was probably this watch. It looks really old. Real old watch. So, not much left of this one, but. And I don't think it's gold, but it sounded good. It sounded real good when I dug it, so, but cool find, you know. So, but we'll keep plugging away, see if we can't get some more cool colonial coins. But, uh, like I say, beaches are sanded in, but that will turn around pretty quick. Um, you're going to get a lot of new targets coming in the next few months. Beach season opens up now starts starts up here beginning of may so we'll be out we'll be doing more beach stuff this year and hopefully some more relic hunts um, but i love that target trace out in the field that works great don't really use it at the beach because you just kick and dig you know dig and kick and uh, that's pretty much it i usually don't use a pinpointer at the beach but it does come in handy so but that's about it thanks for watching please subscribe